Well, it's been a long time coming, but we finally have working over scan in newer versions of Blender, including 3. Point whatever. Uh, some of you visual effects artists out there might be uh, aware that there used to be a uh, camera overscan plugin, which uh, worked for a while until uh, Blender upgraded, and uh, then it didn't work so well, or really at all, uh, in later versions. So. Uh, I've searched far and wide looking for a newer version or an updated version, and after many, 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 many minutes of searching, I finally found this. This here is the updated camera overscan plugin. Same as, uh, well, not the same as the old one, it's better. So, way up at the top here, you can see this was camera overscan, and this is what the old one used to look like. This is from seven years ago. If you want to get this, Go to the URL up here, projects.blender.org, all this stuff. That's it. That's the place you want to be. So once you get there, you can scroll down to the bottom where we find this camera overscan.py. That's what you need to download. This is the new look of it. And it works much better in my opinion. It's got more options and uh, it, it just works. And it works in newer versions of Blender, which is great because we need that. Here we go. I will show you how to do it. Download that. You know what to do. And I'm sure you know how to install add-ons. So once you get it installed, you'll find it here. I renamed it something to differentiate it from the older version. Um, and I didn't change it back. So here it is. This is the newer version. Uh, camera overscan. Boom. There you go. Now over here in your output, here it is. It's a nice little tick box. There it is. So you can uh, mess with all these things if you want to set up your new resolution, your target resolution, uh, or you can just say, hey, I want to do a percentage of what it was before. And this is like some offsets in the X and Y. I don't care about those. All I care about is this. So let's just do a render normally without any overscan. Let's just even tick that off. And we'll just do a quick render here. Do, 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 there we go. 20 samples. We got it. Let's go to slot two. And then we'll tick over scan. We'll say I want 110%. There you see it backs out. There you go. That's without over scan, with over scan. Let's do a render and see what it looks like. All right. Slot one, slot two. Bam. Over scan, just like you always wanted. And uh, as I said, all my fellow VFX artists will be very happy about this. Um, the original plugin was from uh, the fine folks over at Barnstorm VFX, uh, and I'm not sure who uh, who was the person that did it that, that updated it. Let's see here. Um, this guy right here, uh, Kinoti Takahiro, Kinoti Takahiro. Yeah. So thanks to him, I believe he has uh, updated this on you know pretty much single handedly. So uh, if not, uh, well, thanks to everybody else too. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's the new camera overscan in Blender 3. Point whatever. <laughs>